What's up everybody, this is Chris, coming back at you again today with another video. You have reached the Stuff That I Like channel. Today, we're doing another wallet review. This is the Finn wallet from Waterfield Designs, aka sfbags.com, sfbags in San Francisco, as the folks from Waterfield like to say on their YouTube videos and in their and on their website. So this is a little something different for me. I have never owned, or not in my adult life, I should say, a zippered wallet. Um, it's um, as I said, it's just a it's just a change. Uh, if you've watched the channel, you'd know I've I've used relatively minimal wallets uh, over the past several years. I was using the uh, the tight wallet. Uh, I was using and just recently uh, was using the Frenchie wallet, two wallets that I very much love and and I'm the kind of guy who kind of does a rotation of wallets. So I had I also had a, a Nautica front pocket wallet that I very much like that I've been using for several years. So I like to rotate wallets and I am actually traveling at the moment. And one big issue I have when I travel is uh, I travel for work and I have receipts and some other things that I'm typically moving from a gas station, from a restaurant, or whatever the case may be, and I need a place to tuck my receipts away that isn't so cumbersome that it's just it's too hard that I'm not going to do it because once they go into my back left pocket, they get forgotten about and left and washed in the washer and then I have to go through a big ordeal when I get back to work. So I was looking at a number of zipper wallets and I really like the stuff from Waterfield. I like their videos they post on YouTube and I like um, the style of their products. I considered buying one of their briefcases recently. I didn't do that but I figured that this wallet, the Finn wallet, would be a good way to kind of test the Waterfield products and talk about what I like and what I don't like. Also, I was looking at a number of zip-up wallets, uh, including one from Bellroy that I really like, the small uh, zip wallet from Bellroy, which is close to the same price as this. But I'm on a little bit of a wax canvas kick right now. So this is a wax canvas, kind of an olive drab color. A uh, wax canvas with a leather accent on the bottom, a nice soft piece of leather on the bottom there. You can see it looks like a high quality piece of leather. Uh, you can see this is nice wax canvas. You can give it a little scuff and rub it on it and it'll, it'll eventually age really well. This thing also has a very nice YKK lockable zipper. Uh, you can see there's a little water field. Let me try to get that. There you go. There's a little water field. Uh, logo on the zipper so t attention to details very very nice here this zipper you stand it up it will zip but if you close it down like this uh, it will not move so once it's closed down it's a locker so if I were to stand it up I can pull it like this and it'll move but again I put it down and it will not move you can see this is YKK so this little central mechanism here in the middle is the locking mechanism so pretty interesting it's a uh, it's a nice zipper I know these things are self lubricating I've only had this a few days so I presume it'll get a little easier to move as time goes on but um, it's it's very nice zipper very satisfying click it down it's ready to go uh, the one trouble I've had there I sometimes I have a little bit of trouble at the very end here um, I don't necessarily know why, but like I said, I think that will start to work out with time. And the other piece about this that, the other thing about this zipper that I don't necessarily love, it's not a deal breaker, is this end piece, this end cap. I almost wish that this was two ends instead of a rounded edge. Uh, I understand the way the, the wall is rounded on the end, maybe it made more sense, but you can zip this closed all the way and you can see there's still a little space there where that's really as far as it goes. So that takes a little bit away from the weatherproofing. I mean, honestly, that's a tiny little hole, so there's not gonna be a lot getting into there, but if they stopped it a little shorter and made it and cut this off and made it two pieces, they could have perhaps made it just a, a more of a, uh, a full stop there. Um, so that's one thing about the zipper that I was a little bit uh, not 
totally 100% pleased with, but for the most part, the way this zipper moves into, connects with the, the leather here, the way the leather and the wax canvas are stitched together all look beautiful on the outside. And this product, as I suspected, is very well made. Um, I'll put the dimensions in the, uh, the, and the link for the product link. This is the smallest version, by the way. They make four or five versions of this uh, in sizes. This is the smallest size, and I believe it's 4.5 by 2.75. But again, check, double check the description. Don't quote me on that. Um, so let's get into it and take a look at it. The inside is a ballistic nylon. This does come in a bunch of leather colors as well, or the ballistic. Uh, I'm just on a wax canvas kick right now, so I'm doing wax canvas. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff in here. I was not lying about the receipts. I got some receipts, I got some notes, I got a dollar stuffed in there. Uh, and then you have the two card slots on either side. So I have my cards that I use quite a bit here. Um, my personal debit card, my work card, my work uh, business card, P card, and then a, a couple of credit cards on this side. I have my ID, my health insurance, um, my work ID, and my car insurance card. So I like the simple but effective organization. I already know my credit card, my, my debit card's right here, my work card's in the back, my ID's right here. Those are really the only ones that I need to access on the regular basis. I also have some change down in here. And let's see if I can find it real quick. Through the Looking through the camera, there you see I have a couple things of change down there. So that's an interesting thing. You can just kind of toss your change in there along with your receipts and whatever else, and it's good to go. Let me pull everything out of the middle and show you. Uh, so yeah, I have a few... few uh, things to change in there. Dump those in my hand real quick. I used the quarters that I had today. Um, so let's take these out. I have these turned around so they won't show or anything like that. And I'll just move these off to the side. Take everything out of there. And here we have the inside of the wallet. You can see these two sections here. These are the ballistic kind of nylon sections. Very well made. A little made in San Francisco. SFBags.com patch. Nice, uh, healthy size. These will each easily fit. You know, they could probably fit six, seven cards each on the sides. But as you know, as you do that, you're starting to fill the wallet out. But they each fit at least four or five cards comfortably. And then they come in, and there's some very stiff kind of bottom pieces on each of these. See these kind of bottom um, buffers or whatever they are here. And then here's the underside of the leather. So as you can see... Uh, there's no extra lining in this. This is the leather and the one thing that I It's it's starting to work in now, but you, you kind of have to make sure these edges are pushed to the side Because if not, let me grab a dollar bill here I had four or five bills when I got this and if your bills get caught up on this ledge like this because at first my my initial thought was to push this in and to try to close off that exposed leather but then when you do that your bills are a little close to the zipper uh, especially when you have more than one or two um, so you really want to push these kind of hard corner pieces off to the side and get your wallet your money down in the bottom there and then it kind of disappears away so one thing to be aware of there the inside of this is a little bit it's it's well made everything is perfectly stitched it's a little bit unfinished in the corners where just i guess the the decision is do you put an extra liner in there for aesthetic purposes or do you leave a little bit of unfinished edges on the inside because one thing that this thing has going for it it is thin even with everything i had in there and i'll put it back in there before we finish up everything in this wallet it is still thinner than the Frenchie wallet that I was carrying because it's not several pieces of leather putting it together. It's two pieces, well, I guess it's one piece of wax canvas, one small piece of leather, one zipper. So it's an interesting option in that you think it would be bigger and bulkier, and in your pocket, the zipper makes it feel a tiny bit bigger, I will say, but for the most part, this thing is 
just as slim as the Frenchie, if not maybe a little bit thinner. It is a little bit longer than the Frenchie, I'll tell you that. So it's not going to be as small of a footprint, but it is still very thin. So let's put some things back in here. I'll put my, you know, eight card or so back in here. I'll put my big uh, stack of random crap back in here. There we go. And you can see, still pretty thin. Pull the zipper up, boom, everything's clean. Obviously, nothing's moving out of there. And yeah, still pretty thin. I wanna give you a size comparison. I carry an iPhone SE. This is the case, the phone's filming the video. Very similar size to the SE, which is essentially the same size as the 5S. A little bit wider, a tiny bit wider. Um, if you do it like that, um, but also a tiny bit shorter than what the SE was. So if you're looking about the iPhone 5, a similar size, and really the thickness is only about as thick as this case here. So uh, very impressed with the small size and what you can get in this small package. All in all, this video is running long. I'm talking long-windedly like always. I like this wallet quite a bit. I don't know if I'll use it every single day. I like this for travel, specifically for travel. I like it for when I'm maybe going, you know, on a day trip somewhere to a lake or where I'm going to a festival or if I'm doing something like that um, where I'm going to be out and about all day, I'm going to be doing things and I just want everything in one pocket, don't want to have to worry about it. You can put this in your front pocket, this version. I mean, they, they make them all the way up to passport size and even larger, I think. And those, you know, those are more like traditional travel wallets. But this, you can f put in your front pocket. It's zipped up, it's very secure. So I don't think you have anything to worry about there. All in all, this is the quality I was expecting from Waterfield. It's locally, or made in the USA. You can tell they put some thought into these products. Uh, I hope, in the future to buy another Waterfield bag or case. Um, I don't know when I'll have the opportunity to do that, but I look forward to it because I do like their stuff. So with that, um, this has been the Finn Wallet. It gets a thumbs up from me, and, uh, and I hope that someone out there looking for a zip-up wallet takes a look at this. I may eventually take a look at the small Bellroy uh, wallet zipper wallet to compare the two and I may do a size comparison on this quickly when I get back to my house in a few days so with that you've been watching the stuff that I like channel thanks for watching